To start editing, we must create a sequence in order to place all of our clips on our timeline. There are several ways to do it, but one of the simplest ways to do it is just to pick one of your clips in your project pane and then just drag it over to the timeline area and then drop it in. Premiere will automatically create a sequence with the settings based off of the first clip that you bring in. It's very imperative that the first clip that you bring in is something you shot on a camera. You don't want to, say, import something from the internet that is maybe a very small image and then throw that down on the timeline because then it will make your entire sequence that small. And then when you go to bring in something from your camera that you've shot, Premiere will automatically shrink it down to be that very small, same resolution as that file you downloaded from the internet. And you don't want that. So now that we have a sequence created, we can see at the top left hand corner what, it call, what it's called. It's called Challenging But Rewarding Work. It names the sequence based off of the same name of the clip that we applied. But this might not be what you're looking for, but that's actually really easily changed. If you go into the project pane, I dragged the clip challenging but rewarding work.mov, but you see that now we have two. We have the .mov and the blank one. The blank one is the actual sequence, and we can tell that they're different because of the two different icons to the left of the clips. So I can click on our sequence once, and then click again, and now I get the rename option. So I'll just call this uh, Greyhounds sequence, for instance, and hit enter. You'll notice that my Greyhounds sequence is now changed. 